County Fairgrounds USA, countyfairgrounds.net. Welcome to today's podcast. Do I have Angela Miller of the Roosevelt County Fair in Montana on the line with me? That's me. Hi, Angela. So what town is it in and what dates does it run? We are in Culbertson, Montana, which is the pretty northeast corner of, of Montana. We're the second to the last county um, before Canada and the last county before North Dakota. And okay. our fair is August 9th through 13th. Okay, so here's the infamous question. What's old, what's new, and what's not to be missed? Oh, we have our annual free corn feed. So our county commissioners come out and boil corn. Everybody can come through and get a free ear of corn or two. So that's kind of an old saying that we've we've had for a long time. Um, New stuff, we have fair hair contest. So it's mullets and beards and long hair. So we're going to see who's got the best hair in Roosevelt County. And (laughs) (laughs) we we have a movie night. We're doing a karaoke karaoke contest. Uh, We've never done that before. So we've got a lot of new stuff this year that we've we've added in that we're hoping people will come do. Okay. Let me let me ask you this. One of the first things that I think of when I go to a fair is where do I park and where's the entrance? Oh, you park right out front. We have free parking. Um, rarely does our parking lot overflow, but if it does, then you can just park right down the street. And we are free gate fair, so you come in anywhere that you see open. Oh, that's cool. I like that. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) All right. All right. Suppose I was a mom with a bunch of little kids. Where would you tell me to go first? I would say check out the barn, look and see the animals, because all the kids like the animals, and then head over to our inflatable zone. So uh, Mm. we're a very small fair, so we do not have room for a carnival, but we bring in some awesome inflatables and it's going to be a hot one this year, so we have a water slide inflatable. So we, mm-hmm. we tell everybody, bring your swimsuits or bring a change of clothes because you're going to want to go down that slide and get a little wet. And the kids love all of that. And then we, we have yard games. So we have a little pony croquet and um, some cornhole, a roping dummy. We just like everybody to come out and visit and have fun. Well, that's important. I agree with that. Okay, what about if I'm a senior? Where do I go? We we have worked really hard the last few years to make our grounds um, a lot more accessible for everyone. So we've we've added concrete pathways to I'd say well to all of our barns um, except our beef barn. We don't we don't have concrete to get there, but we do have level ground. So our seniors can go. Anywhere, um, they would probably enjoy our indoor entries, um, seeing all the arts and crafts that the kids make, um, the quilting exhibit, and then everyone loves our free meal. We have a free meal Friday night put on by, by our Chamber of Commerce, and everyone loves coming out for that. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Okay, so uh, when does... Uh, so? When do you open again? On what day of the week is it? We open on Tuesday, August 9th. That's our, our technical first start day, although it's not really at our fairgrounds. Um, we have horse events going on that day, and they take place at our saddle club grounds just a mile up Highway 16 um, okay. because we don't have the right facility for it. So August 10th, Wednesday, is when we have a lot more activities going on. We have a craft night so people can come out and build a fairy garden and then a youth dance that night. So what about, um, you know, do you have a rodeo or something like that? So we do not technically have a Roosevelt County Fair rodeo. However, our Colberts and Saddle Club that's in the same town, they put on a ranch rodeo on Saturday night, August 13th. Our fair okay. technically closes at 3 o'clock. And the ranch rodeo starts at 5:30, so it's just a nice thing that together uh, we work together with the dates, so that there's still something going on that feels like a fair that night. 
although it's not on our grounds. It's just that mile north. Okay, what about entertainment? What kind of entertainment have you got? We have Jeff Martin coming out to do strolling magic and a magic stage show as well as a comedy hypnosis show. And that's exciting because we haven't had anything like that for quite some time. And so that will be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And then Friday night, we have Marshall Ketch. They're a rock Americana band from Kalispell, mm-hmm. Montana. And they'll be headlining Friday night. And they are also a free concert. Okay. Now I have to ask you about food. What kind of food have you got? We have our 4-H concessions. Um, and they have the standard hamburgers and hot dogs and a Philly cheesesteak. Um, we have more, the more family lemonade, so they call it more lemonade. Uh, it's a fresh, fresh squeezed lemonade. Um, we have a local lady that does a food truck. We have an, another local who does kettle corn and fresh mm-hmm. fried pork rinds. So that's kind of a, a cool thing because most places you don't find pork rinds that are fresh. Mm. Um, we get mini donuts and then we have another nonprofit group coming in and doing baked goods and turnovers and I'm not sure exactly what her whole full menu is yet, but it's exciting to see that she's coming. So what's your favorite part of the fair, Angela? My favorite part is that people just come together and reunite. So like I said, we're not a big grounds. Um, parents can sit and visit on our front lawn while their kids are back playing in the inflatables and they can see them. So they can sit and enjoy a conversation with friends or someone they may not have seen since last year's fair, let their kids run off and play and not have to worry where where they are or what they're doing because it's just a family fun atmosphere and it's there's something for everyone. So I, I just love seeing people come together and enjoying what we have. Okay, sounds like a great time. Do you does the fairgrounds put on any other activities during the year? This is the only fair, fair or county sponsored activity. Um, we rent out the grounds to different entities, but this is the only county one. Okay, all right. Well, sounds like a good time. Uh, thank you, Angela, for the interview, and I hope you have a great fair. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.